Well, there she is, all disassembled. I'm happy the trigger group came out all in one one piece. Just two pins holding it in. There's what's left of the piston seal. Come out in pieces, all, all crumbly. Still some on the piston itself. That's going to be fun putting that back, putting the seal back on that. I've seen a few videos where it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And the piston is dry. It's got some dried up with... I don't know what kind of grease to use, but it stinks. It's disgusting smelling. The spring. It's got a kind of a bronzy color. It's not rust. But it's absolutely dry. Dry as a bone. There's no grease, nothing on it. It's got one finished end. And the other end is looks like it was just cut. I might have to take my Dremel and gr grind her down so it's smooth. Yeah, I, I have to because it's got a, an edge on it. Catch. The washer that goes inside the piston. Uh, and the spring guide. Rust on it. Dry as a bone as well. Inside of the compression tube. It's absolutely filthy. But... Uh, it doesn't have any sharp edges. All the edges have been honed, which is less work for me to do. And I got to run a, a cleaning rod in there to clean it out, get all the, the crap out of it. And then that way when I'm ready to put it all back together, it'll just be molly paste I put on everything. I got to clean the piston up too and... Good thing it, it, it at least rolls through so everything's good in that aspect. <clears throat> so yeah, once I got her all back together, I'll do another video, another shooting video, and I'll do the full review then. Okay, see you later.